What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Check out the newest, latest, greatest contraption, trailer, DMP rig with a gooseneck you have ever seen come out of Belmont, out of Dawson Manufacturing. We're up here in Leola, Pennsylvania at the world famous headquarters of Belmont Trailers. This place, man, they make an absolute game changing trailer. Now something I wanna show you guys real quick is how strong and beefy these rigs are. What I'm doing today is I'm doing an inspection on one of the biggest trailers, no, not one of, the biggest trailer you have ever seen come out of Belmont from us in Mulchmate and Dawson Manufacturing. Take a look at this guy. This thing is absolutely a giant. So real quick, the cool stuff back here is normal. Tail lights, you got the, these guys here, these little holes here, that is for the backup lights. You can see this is gonna have a lift kit. Look how big this steel is. I mean, I've got, my hands are about nine to 10 inches long. Look at this, massive. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful, huge steel pipes going across. You will never, ever, ever hear somebody complain about the robustness or lack thereof of this unit. It is absolutely game changer. You've got the Timberins back in there, big rubber guys, all the way on all four corners. All these steel loops are gonna run all the wiring, all the hoses, and you know what? I'll show you a little clip of a trailer way back. Another thing we're doing here at Dawson Manufacturing in Belmont is we're trying to push the envelope all the time. So let me go over some of the things on this DMT trailer that two months ago didn't exist. Today, they're gonna to become what I would call standard options, meaning you can get them. It's not something custom, nothing crazy. Now, the number one thing in my world is automation. This is what I mean by automation, and this is nowhere near done. We're working on it with this little latch here. So what this allows you to do is take this gate and simply just push it and it will automatically latch down there. We're getting ready to add a hole somewhere in this area here. So this pin, see that little area where my finger is? The little, we're gonna be able to put a lock straight through that guy right there. And that is how you're gonna make this gate automated. Now, this latch here, we don't have it done yet. On this trailer, this is how this is gonna be, but we're gonna have an auto latch here to where when you shut this upper section, you can see it's a bit shorter. See from right there to here, it's a bit shorter. And there's the bottom of the other guy. So this guy's gonna be able to shut this way and it's gonna latch somewhere in this vicinity. And we also added dual handles, one there, one there, also there and there. And so this gate here, this is 78 inches worth of gate. That one's 54. This is gonna be the passenger side. This is the driver's side and the reason we're doing this is because sometimes guys just simply don't want to come off of the passenger side. They want to be able to go off the driver's side. So this gives you the option to go either direction. The cool thing is this bar you see here, that bar folds down. You can see like so. This latch is going to go in real soon to this pivot point here and these two guys here. So this actually will go out to a legal limit of like 102. So it can stick out like so. And again, the trailer's not done, clearly. Hey guys, real quick, I wanna just throw this out there. If you're enjoying this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. When I say comment, I mean, don't just give me some BS comment. I'm talking about, let us know what you think. You don't like something? Well, listen, that's how we make things better. That's how this rig all started with. Somebody wanted something that was a lot better, a lot bigger, and that's where that kind of stuff comes from. Let me know what kind of colors you like to see. This rig, by the way, give me a guess. I want you to guess what color you think this rig is gonna be at the end of the day. I already know what it is. Let me know in the comments down below what color you want this rig to be. And this guy here, this does the same thing. This folds down and it also has the pins here, here, and that's the pivot point there. The cool thing is it's all unbolts, okay? And then you've got 125 inches of space up here on this platform. I mean, it's, it is absolutely massive. It's not bolted down right now, but you see you have a support here, support there, support here, there, there, there and of course there d-rings everywhere that way you can tie down all of your equipment on here you also have this is a, a slight dovetail so they're going to trim this right here and then this actually sinks down if you see the angle down in here versus here so that dovetail will get bent in there you, go. you can kind of see it better over here so you actually have three little dovetails where it goes down and then that has a dovetail and then again. So it's, it's like three little 
it's like three little ramps up to get up on this this platform here but i mean this thing is massive massive now speaking of massive look at this guy holy cow so this is our gooseneck option okay so you can see the utility box in here all the goodies will go in there nice tray keep all your i'm gonna say junk i don't know why i would call it junk whatever you want to put up in here and then this guy here that is a spare tire mount that will have shock absorbers on it and will actually unpin from down here and swing i'm sorry no unpin from that side and swing towards me and it'll be a shock absorber to hold it so it doesn't slam and then then what we're going to do is we're going to put we're going to put a auto latch on this side so that way when you get to close it you put the tire back on so the tire is going to go the tire is going to go right back on this plate but swung down and then you'll be able to slam it shut here and it'll auto latch over here how nifty is that we're also putting a plate down here i'll show you in a second uh a clip right here of what this power station gonna look like so it's got the seven pin it's going to have the anderson connector and it's going to have the rca connection for your backup camera yes this ultimate has a backup camera this section right here this bar you see along here that is the lift kit that takes you all the way down and that is what actually lifts the trailer up an extra 15 inches giving you enough room to put top dressers underneath there now over the years truth be told top dressers have gotten really really tall and it's kind of gotten out of control but we're working on something very soon you'll see it very very soon that's going to solve that issue but this whole platform here is literally for top dressers uh aerators uh stand on blowers all kinds of good stuff this guy is actually going to live down in um san antonio texas a company called WLH Composting, a gentleman named Billy. He's the one that has spec this incredible rig out. And it is, I mean, it's a game changer. This thing is an absolute game changer. Even the guys here at Belmont are like, are you crazy? And I'm like, kind of, kind of. guys so that's about it that's the real quick rundown doing my inspections on this trailer this is the biggest baddest one ever built and i wanted to make sure it was right for the customer good thing i came down belmont had a few things they had questions on got those answered this thing's fantastic so if you want your own multimate dmt combo built by belmont and multimate dulcet manufacturing all you gotta do is go to multimateusa.com hit that form submission let us know what you're looking for we'll help you out we've hooked up with the industry's leading equipment